There is nothing more mind-numbingly boring than having to do the same tasks every single day. If you find that you're repeating the same tasks on a daily or a weekly basis, well, today's Tech Tip Tuesday is all about automation and the solution you've been waiting for. Hey, welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. My name is Liron Segev and every Tuesday I share with you tips and tricks and how-tos making you more productive, more efficient, and getting more out of your systems. If this sounds like something that you're into, smash that subscribe button right here, and let's get on to this week's episode. Okay, so this is the system, but let's understand the fundamentals, and everything works around a recipe. Now, all that a recipe is, is a set of instructions to say, if this happens, then do that. What you're seeing on the screen right now is basically applets. Applets, all they are, are pre-baked recipes. Somebody else has done the work, somebody else has written the set of instructions, allowing you to simply use them yourself. The system has been around for many years, which means many people have contributed their recipes. So, so many recipes have been added, in fact, that it's divided into categories. So before you rush out to write your own, have a browse through the system and see if there's one that already does what you want it to do. Let me show you how easy it is to use one of these. Let's say we want to track our working hours into a Google Calendar every time we enter or exit a certain location. Okay, so here's one that somebody has done exactly that for us. Simply click on it, make sure it's the right one, make sure it does what you want it to do, and you turn it on. Now, this particular one is based on location, which basically means that in the configuration screen, you're gonna to have to type in the address. So every time you enter this location, this geographic area, it will automatically start tracking your working hours. Once you've done that, click on save, and that's it. It's now active and ready to rock and roll. Now, if you wanna edit or make changes, you simply go to My Applets, you click on the little gear icon, and here you can go back and reconfigure it. So in this particular case, I don't want the White House because I don't work there, but I want to change it to my local city. That's where my client is based. And every time I go into downtown Dallas, I want to be able to track my hours. And I can play with that, set the location, set exactly the street address, click on save, and there it is. To delete, click the gear icon, go right down to the bottom, click delete, and basically it's done. So that was using a pre-baked script. What happens if you want to write our own? Okay, go to applets, click on new applets, and say, right, if this, then that. That's the name of the program. Click off if this, click on the plus, choose a service. What do you want to do? So let's just say we want to track the price of a Best Buy item. I type Best Buy. Yes, Best Buy is a service. And let's see what option Best Buy has made available. Uh, the one I'm looking for is product price changes. There it is. Click on that. It says um, I need a SKU number. Uh, SKU number basically is the code for that particular item. Uh, well, that's easy to get. I open the Best Buy site, find the item I'm trying to track. There is the SKU number right there. Click on copy. Go back to the system. Paste it in. Click on create trigger. And that's the first part done. So if this price changes on this drone then do what click the plus what is my instruction what must I do if it price has changed um, I can get a tweet I can get an SMS an email a phone call I can do a whole host of things let's just say we want to add it to a um, Google sheet because this way I can keep track of all price changes on that drone until eventually I convince myself to buy one so I select the action add rows to spreadsheet and then I simply follow the prompts. Now everything is customizable and there's something called add ingredients. So these are predefined fields that Best Buy has let you use and you can use them in your sheet name or in your formatted rows. And you really just have to follow the prompt as you're going through. And each one of these is gonna be slightly different depending on the service provider and what information they've made available to this recipe. So now I'm ready to click on create action and from this point onwards every time the drone changes price on the Best Buy website I get notified and my spreadsheet gets updated. How cool is that? Didn't write one single line of code for this to happen. 
And that's the power of the system. It's taking two disparate systems like the Best Buy website and the Google Sheets and merging them together without a single line of code. You can think of hundreds of examples of how you could use this in your home, in your life to automate, make you more productive and much more efficient. So this concludes another Tech Tip Tuesday. Hopefully you've picked up some tips and tricks that you could use. Feel free to share this video by clicking the share button down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Tech Tip Tuesday. Cheers for now.